Nadia is a housewife in Cairo. She takes care of her two sons while her husband goes to work as a driver in the city. Life as it is is hard for this family. A £3,000 income doesn't really go a long way. This year, Nadia's family has had to contend without food for Ramadan. They blame this on the high prices of food in the city. They really are too expensive. Last year, the prices were still acceptable. For example, I didn't buy prunes this year. It cost 65 pounds for one kg. I think that's too expensive for me. I have four people in my family. I spent 80 pounds for a dinner last year, and I have to spend 160 to 190 pounds this year. The family shares this meal before Ramadan. One thing that's missing, though, is meat on the table. It's too expensive, and this iftar will have to do without it. According to data released by the Egyptian market department, Ramadan food prices rose significantly this year. Economic experts blame this on the crippling dollar shortage. In Egypt, many Ramadan foods are imported in dollars, but dollar shortages has led to exaggerated black market exchange rates, prices that are then transferred to the consumer. Experts say that the country's suffering tourism industry might pile up on the crisis, pushing up the already worsening dollar shortage crisis. But as for Nadia and her family, the food isn't the important part, but the fact that Ramadan is well spent with her family. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.